Hi, I'm Tasman Offley, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a natural psychodermatherapy Botox cream. So what is psychodermatology or psychodermatherapy even? It deals with our emotions and stress that can impact our skin and vice versa. Its stress and negative emotions can cause visible damage to our appearance. And psychodermatology cosmetics work on this mind-skin connection to improve the well-being of the skin and therefore restore a more healthy appearance. There are some cosmetics that usually have measured benefits for the mental well-being also. Now let me show you how easy it is to put together. Starting off, I've got my water phase here. Now to start building my cream, I'm gonna make a slurry here of some xanthan gum in some propane deal. So I'm using the Videscence Xanthan as my gum. This one here is a really nice grade. Generally makes pretty clear uh, gels. Um, it's really easy to slurry as well. So once you've got a nice smooth slurry, add that into your water phase. And just give that a good stir until a nice homogenous gel starts to form. See, that's a really nice homogenous gel. Okay, we're gonna pop that one on heat. Now while that's heating, I'm just gonna to put together my oil phase. So in my bowl here, I've got some Olive M1000 by Hallstar. This is a really good non-ionic waxy emulsifier. So this is gonna build viscosity and also some stability in our cream. To this, I'm gonna be adding some glycerol stearate citrate. This is anionic. So this is also gonna help with stability and viscosity. And now for my lipids, I'm going to be using some Capillic Capric Triglycerides. This is a medium skin feel triglyceride. You do want to have a good balance of light, medium, and heavy skin feel um, just to get the right sensory. I'm going to go in with some Flora Mac 10 by Floratech. This is a nice light and like a drier feeling ester. It's also long spreading. And I'm also going to go in with some acai oil as well. This is a really good antioxidant plant oil. And I'm just gonna pop that one on here also. Okay, so once your oil phase is all melted and homogenous, we are gonna add it to our water phase. And you'll see a nice white emulsion is starting to form now. So we're gonna take that one off heat. Okay, we're just gonna stir that to allow it to start cooling. Okay, so once this has cooled down, we're just gonna go ahead and add our heat sensitive materials. So I'm just gonna go in here with my preservative. This is the Cosphoderm uh, Multi Meg by Cosphotech. I'm also gonna go in with a couple of extracts here for stories. So I've got some bilberry extract and I've also got some green tea. I've got some vitamin E or some tocopherol. I've just got a essential oil blend here. This is a really nice floral blend that we just got off the shelf. You can of course pick your own. Now I am gonna be going in here with my uh, star ingredient or active here. So this is the myelin by Scilab or C-Lab. Now this is a two in one kind of type of active. So it's a muscle relaxing active and it also promotes a healthy well-being effect as well. So it comes from watercress, it's a mineral richness and it's what gives the muscle contraction and cell signaling linked to the well-being mediators in your body. It's got a Botox-like effect. Um, so it smooths the first expression of um, lines of young skin and fades the wrinkles of mature skin within five days. Um, it also stimulates skin oxytocin to improve the skin's homeostasis and reduces the stress perceived by volunteers and improves the quality of their skin. And also the barrier function is restored and the hydration is increased. So then that's also giving um, more radiance to the complexion as well. Uh, it's also been tested on crow's feet as well of uh, Asian volunteers and after 28 days of treatment there's been um, really good results there. So really good active here, it's got a couple of benefits, it's also natural as well. And this is where that, you know, that skin 
and mind sort of concept when it comes to cosmetics is really coming into play here because we've got an active that's you know treating the skin in a certain way that's also going to help our consumers have a better well-being at the same time okay so i'm just going to check and adjust my final ph Now full viscosity won't be achieved until the next day. So we are just gonna cover and leave this as usual and come back to it tomorrow. Okay, and here's what our cream is looking like the next day. As you can see, that's thickened up quite a lot. It's more of a really nice cream viscosity now rather than running like a lotion-like. Nice and glossy and stable. So something really important when it comes to psychodermotherapy products or you know the skin mind uh, trend when it comes to cosmetic products is really making sure that you get the right aesthetic as well when it comes to all the, all the right sensory when it comes to the products. So you want something that's going to feel really good on the skin. No, no one wants something that's going to be heavy and greasy or sticky and tacky. So you do want to make sure you get the right sensory. So this is feeling really smooth and buttery. It's not heavy. It's not greasy. It's quite light and it's also long spreading not sticky either. So it's really, yeah, really important to get the right sensory as well with these types of products to really promote that, you know, healthy skin or that healthy well-being because it all comes down to feel as well, you know, physical feel and also how you're feeling inside as well. Now, another thing to remember when the, with these types of products is the claims that you're making. Remember, cosmetics can only make appearance-based claims without making claims towards um, any physiological changes um, of the skin or specific skin conditions or to be used on broken skin as they would be therapeutic claims. So you do need to be quite careful and clever when it comes to your marking your claims to these types of products. You can still provide evidence to support um, the, the actives being used and what they do for the skin, um, etc. But you also just need to be mindful about the claims that you're making. If you are sitting there and you're really stuck on claims or you don't know much about regulations, we do actually have a certificate in regulatory essentials so that covers claims and labels. And we also do have a short certificate in labels and claims as well, which might be helpful to you. We will put the links in the video for you. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a natural psychodermotherapy Botox cream. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.